Hello, this is Yanis, and today I'm talking about Woodprint. So, just in case you're wondering, what is Woodprint? This is something that's printed out on a piece of paper in high contrast. For instance, this image is a high contrast piece of piece of just uh, a photo um, printed out on on a paper, A4 size, with high contrast. So everything is visible. The lines are sharp and clear. Okay. So the second prerequisite of wood print would be to have a piece of wood that's clean and sand it down using just a sandpaper, either a sanding machine or um, or just um, a sandpaper thing. You can just do it manually, like this. All right. And thirdly, you're gonna you're gonna be needing a liquid. This is called um, a photo transfer pouch, which you can buy easily in any art shop or DIY art shop. So I'm going to be showing you the whole process, starting from gluing it together uh, and up till the very end of the wood print. So the end result would look like this. All right. So. Um, my apologies, I actually lied to you just uh, a few moments ago because you're going to also be needing this one. So uh, once you have all your um, prerequisites ready, so just shake the photo pouch, open it, and apply it both on the, on the uh, wood and also on the paper. So uh, not too much, uh, but sufficient layer of, of this liquid just to for it to be able to take the image from the laser and just remember it has to be a laser print not a um, an ink not a printout from an ink inkjet or um, something else just an ordinary office laser printer um, would do all right and while I'm preparing the wood, uh, I'm going to be just uh, mentioning that uh, once this is ready, you leave it overnight. Uh, I actually leave it overnight, but I think uh, uh, maybe three, four hours uh, of drying would be sufficient. But remember, you have to do, you have to dry it intensely. So put it on a on a radiator or something where it's very uh, dry and, and warm so I think we still have a little bit oops this is too much I haven't been doing it for quite a while so this is this is almost new to me as well but I guess it's all coming back slowly alright so um, now quickly we ha also have to apply a little bit of um, a layer on the paper just for it to be a little bit wet uh, remember we have only a couple of parts the mouth the nose and, c and, and two eyes so uh, it's it's paramount to, to put this thing on those parts where there is this laser material so I'm going to be applying it to all. So, uh, and by the way, when it comes to wood print, um, there's a high percentage of failure here. So there's uh, quite a lot of things where it can go wrong, and the paper can be torn apart or um, or, or or it just wouldn't look nice. But let's hope for the best in this case. Alright, so that has been done. You also need a couple of paper towels to take the excess uh, layer of um, photo pouch off. Alright, so this is the tricky part. You have to apply it gently and precisely from one side. And this is where the paper can actually start breaking. So has to be done well from from the very beginning but applying sufficient force all right so you 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 start from the center gently by 
putting it on the wood try to keep your fingers dry else you can they can start mm, gluing to the paper and tearing the paper away all right um, I think this would be good what we can also do is we can take another piece of paper and uh, a little bit apply more force through uh, another piece of paper so we, we are not breaking this image paper layer all right so gently pull uh, it to the sides and the excess liquid will come out in this case we didn't put too much so there is not a lot that's coming out from the sides but uh, you can actually take the sides gently off with uh, the paper towel uh, the thing I didn't mention but it's maybe mm, it's pretty straightforward uh, you can also make some text if you want but remember you first have to print it out in mirror, okay? So for it to look correct uh, on this wood print, okay? So let's remove this other and let's check for any places where there can be uh, any gaps. Where the paper is not pressed to the wood. I think it's quite okay here. So now it's it's a matter of drying. Let's take it upstairs and dry it for at least a couple of hours before we do the next bit. Okay. Okay. So um, the moment of truth has come, and the woodprint image has had enough time to rest and we are about to reveal the actual image behind this paper so first thing we need to do is apply a boiling water from the kettle slowly pouring the water on the actual image and we see that the, the picture is, is slowly revealing so what it's doing now is it's just heating the the layer of um, of the paint into the wood. So this should have happened, of course, in uh, through this uh, photo poch liquid. But just in case there are some loose areas, the boiling water is doing the job. As you can see, the mouth area is quite okay. The eye, eyes area is has some um, bubbles. Bubbles mean that there is some space between the paper and the wood. And this is what we want to avoid. We need all the paint to touch the wood thoroughly. So we're trying to do that with the water. Okay, so now it should be okay, and we need to leave the wood print for 10 minutes to dry and get cool. We are at one of the final stages of uh, getting our wood print image ready. So uh, the image has had um, uh, boiling water applied. Some ten minutes ago, and now it's time to rub. Do the first rubbing of the paper. So we need to find um, a sponge or a piece of um, rubber or something because we don't want to do it with our hands um, from the very beginning because hands will get uh, the, the 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 skin is very sensitive. So we're gonna need to save it for the very l last stage of uh, removing the paper layer. So let's first do gently uh, with with this one and uh, for the areas where we, there, there is no paint we can do do it uh, with applying f uh, force so 
this. The paint is only in some parts of this image, so it's mouth and eyes and nose, so these parts we have to be careful with. Okay, the rest we can just do straight away. So you need to have lots of water um, at your disposition just to be able to rinse off the um, unnecessary parts. Okay. And as I told earlier, the, the wood print is is um, has a high percentage of failure, so there is a, a great chance that um, some of these parts will just come off the parts with, with the paint, so you really need to be careful about that. You do them slowly. Okay. And by the way, um, what we we can do with for the wood print images, they themselves don't hold any value as such. But we can do a lot of things. Like we can for this inst uh, for this particular one, I I did a clock, a wall clock. So um, think about how you can how you can use them as an object, not only. Uh, a traditional art object like a picture but use them for for something else as well all right okay so this is this is uh, one of the final stages the images like this and we're going to be now uh, doing these white parts with our finger okay very very gently your finger will feel that there is a thin layer of paper still left and you're going to be rubbing it off very 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 gently not to rub off the paint layer so if you rub off the paint layer then you're done basically uh, of course we can fix that by just applying a black paint from Flomaster or something but that's not that's not what you want. What you want to do in this case, okay? So once the final thin layer of paper is removed, you will feel that there is nothing between your finger and the wood. And that's a sign that the image is ready. All right. So in this case, we are done with the parts of eyes, mouth and nose and we just need to continue removing the, the rest. Nothing can do with applying quite, quite strong force because there is no pain in these areas. Okay, so the, finally we need just to rinse off the paper. Um, print image ready. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.